Now we'll insert new windows in the building. Open ground floor from the project map of the pop-up navigator or simply from the tab bar. Activate the window tool in the toolbox and open its settings dialog. Display the preview and positioning panel of the dialog. Choose Window from the Basic Windows folder. Enter 0.6 meters for both the width and height values. Make sure that Sill to Story 0 is selected for Anchor and enter 1.8 meters for its value. Select the Center Anchor Point option. Enter 0.15 for Reveal to Wall Core. Display the Basic Window Settings page. Checkmark both Board and Sill on the Fixtures and Fittings panel. Similar to doors, windows have endless variations of appearances, thanks to the wide list of parameters. Display the list here to check the available parameters in logical groups. Note that not only custom settings are available by default, but by clicking the corresponding button, you can display all available parameters. Display the Categories and Properties panel. Select Non-Load Bearing Element for Structural Function, Exterior for Position, and Window for Element Classification. Scroll down to the IFC Properties category and click the Manage IFC Properties button. Click the Apply Predefined Rule button. Select the Omni Class option for Rule. Type Exterior Windows in the Search field and click the Search button. Select and apply Exterior Windows from the list below. Click OK to return to the Wall Settings dialog. Click OK to apply all changes. We insert the first window with automatic snap points in the middle of the slanted wall in the entrance room. Click the Snap Guides and Points Options arrow and select the Half and Between Intersection Points options. This way, the snap points between the points of intersections will be displayed instead of the points on the entire element. Turn off Trace from the standard toolbar. Place three windows randomly on the stone wall, one for each room. We will organize the windows in the second step. Click the external side of the curved stone wall to place the windows. Click the lower right arrows when defining the opening direction. When done, select the windows one by one and arrange them with the help of the special snap points. Select the middle hotspots on the external sides and move the windows until the snap points appear on the internal side of the wall. Now we'll add some windows in the gallery as well. Display the gallery floor plan. Activate the Window tool. Open its Settings dialog. Enter 0.8 meters for both the width and height values. Enter 1.6 meters for the Sill to Story 1 field. Enter minus 0.10 for Reveal to Wall Core. Set the anchor point to center. Click OK. The new window goes right above the pocket door from the ground floor. Show trace by activating its icon in the standard toolbar. Use the trace and turn off the snap guides and point button in the standard toolbar to place the window above the pocket door. Use the trace to place the window above the pocket door. Turn Trace and Reference off. Select the new window and click on any hotspots to display the pet palette. 
Select Multiply. Choose Drag. Enter 3 as the number of copies. And select the Distribute Minus 1 method. Click OK. Click on the top left hotspot of the window as reference. And click the top left corner of the gallery door as the end point. Place two more windows at the midpoint of the gallery slab on both sides. Please use guidelines to place the windows as shown on the screen. 